The EU member states have decided to set up a solidarity fund to provide financial support to Ukraine. This emerges from a statement by the heads of state and government published at the summit meeting in Brussels on Friday night. And the text reads, Considering the destruction and enormous losses inflicted on Ukraine by Russia's military aggression, the European Union commits itself to assisting the Ukrainian government in its immediate needs and after the end of the Russian attack in the reconstruction of a democratic Ukraine. A pledging conference will be organized in due course to raise funds for the fund. In addition, international partners are invited to participate in the development of the fund. At the end of last week, EU Council President Charles Michel brought up the Solidarity Fund after a phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The reason given was that Ukraine needed access to international liquidity to finance the import of daily necessities and military equipment. Under the current circumstances, the country is unable to issue bonds on the international financial market. Private investments would also be deducted. The fund is set to initially ensure the functioning of the authorities and the continuation of defense efforts against Russia and emergency aid. In the long term, massive investments for the reconstruction of the economy could then be financed in order to anchor Ukraine economically in the West. In the past, the EU has already set up an emergency trust fund for Africa, among other things, to address the root causes of forced displacement and irregular migration and to contribute to better migration management. Almost 5 billion euros were made available for it by the EU institutions, the EU member states and other donors by mid-2020 alone. And talking about Charles Michel, the Belgian Charles Michel has been re-elected President of the European Council. At the EU summit in Brussels, the heads of state and government of the EU states spoke out in favor of a second term for Michel, as the Council announced. Michel was unanimously elected, it said. Michel took up his post in December 2019 for two and a half years. The second term begins on June 1st in 2022 and ends on November 30th in 2024. U.S. President Joe Biden personally congratulated him shortly after the election. Sometimes he dreams of being re-elected without opposition, like Michel joked the American who could stand for re-election in 2024. Among other things, the head of the council is responsible for convening and preparing EU summits and mediating between the EU states. He can also travel abroad for diplomatic work. Since the council president can only be re-elected once, it will also be Michel's last term. The post of EU council president has only existed in its current form since 2009. It was first held by the Belgian Hermann van Rompuy, followed by the Pole Donald Tusk. Michel made headlines especially during a visit to Turkey with EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. In April 2021, only he was allowed to sit in a chair next to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Von der Leyen, on the other hand, had to sit on a sofa. The incident became known as Sofa Gate. Von der Leyen later made allegations that she was not treated in accordance with her office because she was a woman. Michel was born in Namur, southern Belgium, in December 1975, so he's younger than me. Prior to his appointment as EU Council President, Michel was, among other things, the head of the Belgian government. The terrorist attack on Brussels airport and the Malbec metro station in, in 2016 also took place during this period. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.